Hi! In this video, you will learn how to use the Breakbop object system to create objects that breaks on collision like this. And you will also learn how to break an object by calling its break method like this. You can download all the assets you need for this project at the Unity Asset Store. The link will be in the description below. Let's start by creating a new scene and then adding a plane to be our ground. Next, let's drag the wooden crate prefab to our scene. To enable collision breaking, check the break or collision option. For this example, let's use the check allow it and ignore tags collision mode. I want to make sure the crate will not break when colliding with untagged objects, like the ground. But I also want it to break when colliding with the player. Now, let's add the rolling sphere prefab to our scene. As you can see, the rolling sphere prefab is tagged as player. Now let's hit the play button and see what happens. As you can see, the crate did not break when colliding with the ground, but it did break when colliding with the sphere. Now let's try something different. Create a new scene and add the crate prefab to it. We are going to break the grid by calling its break method directly. To simulate this behavior, let's add a new button to our scene. Now I'm just going to align the button to the top of the screen and change its text to break grid. Now click the plus icon to add a new on-click event and drag the wooden grid to it. Finally, select the breakable script break method in the drop down menu. Now, let's hit the play button and test our scene. By using this technique, you decide when the object will break. For example, on a FPS game, you can call the break method when a raycast shot hits the object. 